to uh, you know uh, have a discussion related uh, with someone through telestra i just went through the glass door uh, ratings and feedbacks of the organization and uh, okay. basically the domain they have been working on like you guys are actually working in telecom domain and you have offices in okay. almost more than 20 countries uh, so that's that's uh, the basic things uh, i know actually from from glass door itself See, well, that's actually correct. So, um, Telstra as of the moment is the largest telco company in Australia. So, we provide internet services, mobile services, and even satellite services to our customers. Now, we do have operations <coughs> in um, some parts of the globe. So, specifically in Asia Pacific, um, North America, Europe, and uh, when it comes to our India operations, we actually have. Um, three business locations in India as of the moment. So we have one in Bangalore, Pune, and Hyderabad. Now, the engineer role that um, we are considering your profile or Q4, um, this is going to be part of our Bangalore team. Would that be okay with you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Right, that's good to know. And uh, just to let you know, this position is going to be a temporary work from home setup because of the pandemic. But once the pandemic is over, you might be requested to report to the office. Yeah, yeah, sure, no problem with that. All right, that's good yeah. to know. So, um, Nancy, I, I, as I can see here on your CV, you have um experiences. So, could you give me an overview of your experiences? Yeah, so basically, um, I have around five years of experience into IT industry. I have been working as a software developer majorly into backend uh, services. So I have uh, almost five years of experience with Java. So I've been working for Cisco basically uh, on the client location itself. So we are actually um, kind of you can say uh, building a. Kind of SDN controller into which basically, if you talk about, you can configure or onboard a huge number of devices within a network, connect to those devices, configure things, and then fetch certain things. So uh, from the past two years, I've been working on to uh, this this particular product with Cisco. If you talk about the technology stack that I have been working on, so I have been actually working on to a microservice based architecture along with uh -huh. Spring Boot. And for the inter-service communication, we are using Kafka, basically cube-based asynchronous communication mode. I also have uh, experience with synchronized uh, mode of communication. Like we have uh, for now a couple of services which actually expose REST endpoints uh, uh, outside uh, the network that UI or, or some other third-party application can actually access. Apart from mm -hmm. that, uh, on the unit testing front, I have experience on to JUnit along with Mockito framework. And um, mm -hmm. if you talk about uh, the deployment and uh, testing part, so we are actually using Docker for that purpose. So I have uh, experience on to Docker. Apart from this, if you talk about the pipeline, so I have uh, knowledge about Jenkins uh, and along with that uh, Git versioning tool we are basically using. And uh, also on Sonar Cube for static analysis and other other kind of things. And on the performance monitoring purpose, we are using Grafana for that. And uh, so my major roles and responsibilities actually include gathering the requirements from the customer, and then uh, implementing those uh, changes along with uh, grooming the discussions and finalizing the approach we will be following into, and then uh, finally implementing the changes and unit testing along with that. Apart from this, I have also been involved uh, into bug fixing as well. Oh, I see. So uh, you mentioned that you've been with your current organization for um, about five years. Am I correct? Uh, no, actually, I've been with them for around four and a half years. Uh, in between, uh, for six months, I have actually uh, changed to Wipro basically. Uh, but because okay. I was uh, there on bench itself, so uh, I was not actually allocated any of the projects. So I actually moved back to the same organization I was uh, working for. Uh, I see. I totally understand. So with that being said, though, what made you decide to look for new opportunities, or what's your motivation? Yeah. So basically, uh, for the first past four and a half years, almost. Uh, 
I have been working here with uh, Altron and Cisco majorly. So uh, right now um, I have been working with Cisco, but uh, most of the projects because of certain or organizational changes into my current organization, actually this has actually been acquired by uh, Capgemini right now. So because of that, uh, most of the projects have actually been withdrawn by Cisco. So my current project is actually ending on uh, first week of April because of which uh, I am looking for a change. Apart from this, my role has actually been modified from an individual contributor to a scrum master based role. So we actually follow agile over here. So, uh, so scrum master based role is, uh, you know, something uh, which completely involves uh, people management and things like that. So I actually do not uh, want uh, to lose touch with my technicals and stay intact with that. So that is why I'm looking mm -hmm. for a change. I see, I totally understand. So Nancy, thank you so much, by the way, for um, giving out those information. Now, um, I hope you don't mind me asking, since you've been with um, your current organization for quite some time, um, what's your current CP? Yeah, so in terms of uh, INR, it's almost uh, 9.8 lakhs per annum. 9.8 lakhs per annum. And then if in any case you will be successful, how much are you looking at? So I am looking at something around uh, 17 lakhs per annum. 17 lakhs, okay. <clears throat> so when it comes to your expectation, unfortunately I'm not allowed to disclose any specific details okay. um, as of the moment, but what I can say is that we do offer competitive pay here in Telstra. Um, it just so happened that we cannot disclose it during the initial screening because at the end of the day, this is still a discussion that you would have to do with the hiring managers eventually. Okay. Okay? All right. So. Um, I'd also like to verify with you, Nancy, if in any case you uh, worked on Telstra or any Telstra projects before. No. I haven't worked on any kind of projects uh, related to Telstra. Alright, that's good. And um, with your current organization, do you have any notice period that you need to follow? Yes, so I have actually 90 days of notice period. I am actually serving my notice period and my last working day is 19th of April. 19th of April. Yeah. So why did you resign by the way? Yeah, I, I, as I mentioned actually earlier on only, only we were uh, told about this uh, around mm -hmm. uh, two months before. And um, my, my change in role is actually uh, right now also I am actually uh, doing a role of scrum master managing a particular project basically uh, and, and looking into things like that so because of that I have already been told two months before about this so I was looking for a change so because of that I actually resigned but I am being asked to serve for entire 90 days because uh, since this is a service based organization so they have actually their plans for Everything is planned for around um, the next uh, coming three months and they get billing from the client because of which uh, they have actually asked me to serve for an entire 90 days. So it's almost been more than a month I have been uh, actually serving under my notice period. I see. But do you have any uh, pending applications with other companies or current offers as of the moment? Yes, I have actually one offer in hand. But uh, that is honestly speaking from a, a startup basically. So since I have worked with the bigger MNCs uh, and, and since uh, there is some stability issue as well and because of current COVID situation, people are actually losing their jobs uh, at times. So mm -hmm. because of that, I'm just looking for one stable organization basically where I can work with. I see. I don't really understand. But um, Nancy, is it possible for you to share your start date and how much they offered you? Yeah. So, so you want? Okay. They they have actually offered me around a sixteen LPA, mm -hmm. sixteen lakhs per annum. Yeah. And what's your uh, supposed start date with them? That is 20th of April. I am not uh, very much sure, but that is the next working day after 19th April. I need to maybe 
check in the offer letter uh, yeah it's 20th of april only all right okay that's totally fine um so mandy thank you so much by the way for um giving out those information now um just to give you an overview of the recruitment process um that we have in telstra um because before i actually reached out to you your profile has already been reviewed okay. by the hiring team and you actually um passed their assessment just based on the resume that we were able to get um now i'd like to double check if are you free on Friday for an interview with them. Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, as I can see here, they're free at um, 3 p.m. on Friday. Would that be okay with you? Yeah, that that's completely fine. All right. Let me just book you in. At, oh, sorry. I think it's a clash with another interview how about uh 12 p.m on monday i uh, sorry friday uh yeah that is also fine all right i'll book you in at uh friday this is going to be a technical interview uh with the specialist and the okay. senior software engineer um that we have in uh, bangalore okay um, and then if in any case you will be successful, by the way, here in Telstra, you will be required to provide evidence of citizenship or permanent residency in India. Okay. We might also request you to provide or to undergo background check or background investigation. So with those being said, are you still okay? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right, that's good to know. Um, so, Mansi, thank you so much again for uh, doing the quick phone screen with me. I would just like to check, before I let you go, do you have any questions or any clarifications? Yeah, I would just uh, like to ask, like, uh, okay, mm -hmm. maybe that, that is better to uh, ask from the technical guy. But I would just like to ask, like, uh, what kind of a, a role, basically, you guys are actually looking for? Okay, um, so we're basically looking for someone. So this is the main requirement that I was able to get um, from the hiring team. So they're basically looking for someone with experience in Spring Boot Java, um, experience in messaging queue tools, uh, Docker or container technologies. Um, it's also good that the person is well versed in terms of back-end development. So mm -hmm. basically your profile meets those requirements, but for the specific, let's say, um, responsibilities or the specific line of business that you will be doing once you get the role, I would have to refer you to the hiring team or the technical interview as they would be able to explain it further. Okay, okay. sure. All right. Yeah. So there, um, any other question or any clarifications? No, I think uh, I'm good with this. Alright, so thank you so much again, Mansi, for taking my call. Um, just give me 10 to 15 minutes to compose the email, and then I'll send the invite through your email address, okay? Yeah, sure. sure. Alright, so thank you so thank much, Mansi, and have a great day ahead.